Hi guys, this is the second video of our Coding with Scratch 3.0. And today we're going to do the second project. So, remember our Unicorn Rush, our first project? Don't forget to name it and save now. Now let's make a new project. So this one is the Wheel of Fate. So now let's read the introduction. This is a multiplayer game of chance. Use your hand to spin the wheel, and if it lands on your color, you lose the game. What will your forfeit be? This project will teach you to use the Scratch 3.0 paint editor and video of motion feature. What you do. Each player picks a color. When your hand is touching the wheel on the wheel, on the video, it starts to spin. Each spin is random, so you can't predict where the pointer will land. Once the spinning stops, Scratch Cat announces the color. You can make that person do a forfeit, such as stand on one leg. So what we have to code for in this game is a wheel that spins a random number of times, stops, and we also need a Scratch Cat that talks. And we also need, we're also gonna be using the motion feature. So let's see what that's about. So we have our new project. And let's code this. We're going to be using the scratch, the cat sprite this time, right? So let's code for him. So in the beginning, when the go is clicked, we want to move. So that'll be motion. We want it to move to the corner, right? Let's move him to the corner. And this is where he'll go. The X and Y coordinate. X, 190, Y, negative. 19. Next step is choose, press the stage. And we want to, for our backdrop, we want the words Wheel of Fate in the corner. So let's do that. Change the color. Let's change the font. Pixel. Move it to the corner and resize it. Okay. Next, we need to make the wheel. That'll be a new sprite, and we're going to paint it. Let's draw a circle. Make an outline. And Make it hollow. Let's also make the outline thicker. So five. Let's make it a little bigger. We also want to move it to the center. There we go. Next step, we have to convert to the bitmap. Button. So right here, convert to bit back. And now we need to slice it. Let's choose that color. And let's fill the colors. So let's fill red. red. Green. Blue. And yellow. Okay, now we need to add one more sprite to this project. This will be an arrow that will point at the wheel. So let's add a sprite. Choose it. Oops. Arrow. Now we need to delete the extra costumes. 
oh look, there's so many costumes pointing at different directions. We just want the down one, so let's delete all the others. Hmm. Wants us to erase the edges of the arrow. It's quite a bit. Let's make it smaller. good enough to always redo it. Good enough. Is this good enough? A little wonky. Okay, good enough. Now it's time to code. So let's start coding for the wheel. So click on the wheel sprite. That's how you code for the wheel. The code tab. You can tell for coding for the wheel because it's right here. Now let's, when the program is started, we want it to go to the correct location. So where do we want it to move? Let's move this guy out of the way. Let's move him right here. So motion, go to the X and Y coordinate, and we want to set the size to 80%. So let's make it a little smaller. So that'll be looks. Set size. And a forever loop. And if the space key is pressed, which we will be pressing, then we want to repeat this. We want it to spin a random number of time, right? So we want to repeat this in operators is we pick random. So we pick any random number from 20 to 150. So it's going to spin a random number of times from 20 to 150. Now let's code for the spinning. So spin, turn 10 degrees. There we go. Now we need a broadcast block. So Find it at events. And what do we, we need to broadcast a message. So when it's pressed, it spins, and we also need to broadcast it for to spin stop. Spin stop. Okay. Now let's code for the arrow. Yeah, right here. We also want to move it to the location, right? Correct location. So, right. Here. So when the go button is pressed, I want it to go to the X and Y coordinates. And now we need to, number 18, we need to create a winner variable. So let's make a new variable. And we're going to call this winner. So when they receive a message, remember the message the wheel broadcasted when it stopped spinning? It's going to, when it receives spin stop, 
we need to sense what color it is, right? So if it is touching You need to choose a correct color. So right here, this green color. We need to set the winner, so our variable. Set winner to green. So we need to type the name. Green. Now we need to repeat this for all three other colors. You need to pick a color, pick the color from our sprite. Red. Set the winner. Blue and yellow. What next? We need to broadcast another message. So events, broadcast, say winner. We need our messages to describe what we wanted to say. We can't just type any random numbers that we want because it's really helpful to describe your code. That way, in the future, you could choose the correct message. You won't get confused, be like, what is what do these random numbers mean? You'll know. So now we need the scratch cat. So let's press the scratch cat. Let's code for the scratch cat. And when it receives this message, the say winner message, so we understand what type of message it is. We need a looks for speaking. So say variable we say the winner for two seconds now let's try it out let's go and now we need to press the space button oh no this guy's a little too high up Fix that afterwards. Move it down. Stop. So the pointer wasn't touching anything. Oh no, let's try again. Oh no, we have to move him, right? So we have to delete this block. Put it back in here. Move it down and then go to the correct coordinates. Stop, go, space button. Oh, it's green, hey, it's working. Let's press it again. Wow, our code works now. Okay, so do we wanna try adding the video extension? Okay, I can't do it in this video because I might take a quite some time. But if you want to do it, be sure you do it yourself, okay? So this is the extra challenge, adding the video extension. So here is the second project, second video. Good luck.